So Ilaria, uh, you're a potential or aspirant PhD candidate that uh, you want to do PhD and uh, you, you need our mentorship somehow. But tell us about yourself, about your academic background. Well, um, can I start from my high school? Yes, yes. I got a diploma, an Italian diploma in foreign languages uh, in uh, 2017. Okay. And I got uh, 100 on 100, okay. the maximum. Wow, amazing. Good. Then I, and I studied Spanish, I studied, I studied English and French. Mm -hmm. And I got a B2 certification for French. I got a nice. C2 certification for Spanish. Mm -hmm. And um, then I then I started my, my bachelor degree uh, in uh, industrial biotechnology, okay. uh, biomolecular and industrial biotechnology. And Why the, did you pick industrial biotechnology for your undergraduate? I... I, I always loved science, biology. Right. Um, I'm a curious person. I like to discover, um, I like biology, I like chemistry. Mm -hmm. But at that time, I thought that maybe biology, it would be, um, it would be a little bit too uh, taxono a taxonomic um, field. Okay. Okay. I felt... <laughs> I had this perception of biology okay. and I had another perception of chemistry that maybe I wasn't uh, mm, capable of studying chemistry plus physics because I hadn't a very good background. Mm -hmm. And um, then I, I, I saw this, uh, this name, this uh, biomolecular and industrial biotechnology, mm -hmm. bachelor degree. And I thought, wow, this is a very um, uh, particular name. What, what is this about? What is this about? And uh, and yes, at the beginning, I wasn't very. Um, I really didn't know okay. the the all about the exams and what was the re the the goal of this um, of this bachelor degree. And now um, I I I. I got my bachelor degree in 2020. Now I'm studying at, uh, the master degree. Still and of, uh, how long is the, the period of undergraduate degree? Undergraduate, it's three years. Three years. No, three what years. were the grades and some research experience? My grade, uh, the, my grades uh, weren't that good uh, because, uh, as I said before, I, I didn't have yeah. a good back. Yeah, I completely understand. And so, exam by exam, I acquired knowledge oh, and so. experience with mathematics, physics. So I got uh, ninety-seven on one hundred ten, the maximum. Maximum. And I said, it's a good school. Uh, but on uh, 110 is not that good. But, oh, but I, I would say if I compare with US standard, uh, it's a good score. I would say that. Yes. What about any research experience, thesis project, internship? Uh, fortunately, uh, in in that moment, uh, uh, I I had the the fortune to to make a, an internship. In um, um, because it was the COVID time, no. Okay. <laughs> so many of my uh, many of my friends of my bachelor uh, degree, they couldn't have the possibility to mm -hmm. have an internship. So in that moment, in that three month, I had the, I had this. Uh, the situation yes. was um, calmer, was uh, more stable. And so I I got the, this experience in a um, in a proteomic laboratory. Okay. And, and where the laboratory? What was the university? It was an internship in the Change, which is a, an advanced center uh, for biotechnology, uh, wow. an advanced biotechnology center, which okay. is like affi affiliated mm -hmm. with. Uh, affiliated with the University of Federico II. Okay. Which part and of Italy uh, is located? Still in Naples. 
Okay. Yes. And I and I worked on the spectrometry, mass spectrometry, yes. just for three months. But it, it was it was very a very good experience. Yeah. Well, it is a good experience. That's like a seeding, like uh, you put a seed, and then the plant yes. comes out, and then yes, slowly it is. Again, right. It and is. that you finished in two thousand, like 20 yes, twenty twenty October. 2020, yes. October. And what about your master's program? Still uh, industrial biotechnology. Okay. And I, I chose uh, an English curriculum, uh, which is called uh, um, Biotechnology for Renewable Resources, okay. where I make uh, half of my exams, uh, mm -hmm. they are in English. Okay. Some are in Italian, uh, in Italian, yes, and some in English. And... Um, so I studied microalgal exploitation, I studied bioreactors, I studied mm -hmm. uh, transport phenomena, many environmental economics. It's a very rich master degree. It's a very so, good, with the excellent professors. Yeah, well, I, I agree with that. And, and the program is for how long? For, for two, years. two years. It should for be two years. Two but years, now yeah. I'm... Uh, I, I needed more time. Okay. I needed more time because in the in the meantime, I I had to work. I had to work uh, because I had to work. So I needed some time. Yeah. And now I'm still working on my thesis on yes. a plant biotechnology okay. laboratory. Oh, and nice. even even if uh, I needed more time, mm -hmm. uh, I think all this experience will uh, will will be good for me in the future. I'm mm -hmm. gaining a lot of experience. Very true. And uh, tell tell us about your uh, thesis, your dissertation. What are you working on in some detail? Yes, I'm working on an um, an aquatic plant, mm -hmm. which is uh, Wolfia from the Lemnace uh, family, okay. Wolfia species. Okay. It is an aquatic plant without roots. It is rootless. So when you say it... aquatic, uh, what kind of aquatic nature? Uh, it's a plant. It's, a, it's the um, smallest plant. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, where do you find it? Like uh, where? Ah, where? Uh, how? How I, I found this topic? No, I mean, where these plants are in general? Uh, they oh. are, uh, this Wolfia, uh, I'm studying uh, Wolfia globosa okay. uh, in particular. And this one uh, is found in Thailand, in Thailand. And it is a food in Thailand culture. They mm -hmm. eat Wolfia. They, we, we don't eat uh, Lemnace. Okay. In Europe, but in Thailand, in Thailand, uh, they they do, and it is a a very it is a novel superfood. Okay, it is why a novel you this plant. Why? Why? Why I'm studying on this plant? Yes. First, I wanted to study on microalgae, mm. but then my professor told me that. Uh, they were working in the in in the department. They were working on this uh, on this plant, okay. and the the main project is to um, is to uh, send this plant to the to the space uh, for uh, for um, uh, yes uh, to yeah. uh, as food for um, astronauts. astronauts. Yes, or, yes. Or maybe uh, for us also Thank when we. Traveling in the space, who knows? <laughs> yes, yes, because it's a, a very, it's a unique plant because it is capable of uh, yes, yes. purify wow. water mm -hmm. to fix uh, uh, nitrogen. Yes, yes. And it, it's uh, rich in proteins. Mm -hmm. And my, my goal, my, my so goal is to... This, this project yes. must be uh, government funded, uh, in your university, it looks like. Uh, yes, it is. It is. Yes. Um, yes. I don't know my thesis. It will be if it will be um, like uh, it, um, good. I think it will be positive. I, I'm studying a 
a protocol to uh, modify, to make a, a genetic transformation of the plant. Okay. To nice. find, find a good way to just insert genes in that, in that, uh, in that plant. In that plant. Okay. Yes. So you're working independently or, I mean, uh, your guide or advisor helps you time to time? I am. I, I'm always in contact with my advisor, but uh, differently from uh, the uh, chemistry department okay. where I am from. My my master, bachelor degree are from the chemistry department. In this department, mm -hmm. I'm uh, more free, more... Um, I have a lot of freedom to move in the laboratory, to organize my work, mm -hmm. uh, all the protocols... Um, so my advisor help, helps me, but I am uh, very free to make experience. Good. And how long this, uh, uh, this project is, it is, 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 for how many months well, are you? It should be in my, um, to, to get the master degree, I should make one year of trainership and the thesis one year okay. i already um uh, uh make one year of okay. uh, internship and yes. thesis okay. so it will take one year and half one and a half this is good experience i think this okay. is gonna this is going to lead uh, towards phd program i mean as soon that's the way it is i forgot to ask a question how you pronounce your name the full name <laughs> Uh, my name is Ilaria Rosa Fiore. Yeah, okay. So you have three names, right? I That's have two name. names. Oh, there's two names. Okay. Ilaria Rosa and then Fiore. Rosa. Oh, okay, okay. And you come, you come from uh, which part of Italy? From Naples. I come Naples. from Naples. Naples yes. So it's nice. the south. It's the south, yeah. like the capital of the south, Naples. Okay. It's a very important city. Yes, cultural yes. city yes. but still i i've um, lived for many years in spain okay. i make the elementary school in spain, spain until okay. uh, then uh, okay. then from 10 to now i'm living here in italy that's okay. why i know spanish that's why i would like to to study <laughs> and to work in a hispanic culture because mm -hmm. i feel very um I, nice. I like it so uh, basically you're multilingual you know many languages I am, I am yes I which am. helps a lot so let me ask this question yeah i mean just trying to understand your uh, profile so that i can help you best pass will be how did you get to know about our our, our mentorship the platform <laughs> Um, I was uh, looking for a PhD on Puerto Rico, in Puerto okay. Rico, in YouTube. Okay. And I found Shweta video. <laughs> and I loved it. I loved it. Yeah, your pronunciation of Shweta is good. <laughs> it's right. <laughs> so why are you looking very specific place, Puerto Rico? Um, I was looking for um, different uh, destinations. Australia, okay. Brazil, okay. and then I thought about um, Puerto Rico because I like uh, I like uh, I love uh, sunny places. Sunny places. Okay. I I like it, and I also would like to um, to enter inside the um, to enter in the American American um, system in the American system. Okay. Because I like their um, way to structure the PhD. Mm -hmm. I, it's different from the European PhD because mm -hmm. here you have to choose uh, a very specific topic where uh, and you have to work on it for three years in a very um, specific uh, way. Yeah, no? Time constraint. In Europe, has a time constraint. There yeah. is, and also a topic constraint. Yeah, because that's true, I agree with you. Yeah. And you yes. have to work on this. Europe, there is less flexibility. It is. Yeah, it's true. It is. Yes. And US culture gives you, uh, Australian culture, I would say, Canada, a lot of freedom uh, to students. And I mean, yes. uh, you can multiple projects if you want, and go ahead. 
and also five years uh, freedom and, and it helps uh, I mean uh, grooming a scientist body scientist in a, in a bigger way yes so suppose you you get an admission for a graduate PhD program what do you have anything uh, like uh, you know mind what research you want to do uh, any guesses or, or any any take on that I'm uh... Um, I'm very passionate about uh, my field, about industrial biotechnology. Mm -hmm. I like uh, the way we can exploit biomass, mm -hmm. uh, wasted biomass, okay. to get to obtain uh, uh, high-valued products, mm -hmm. proteins, and many more, many more. Yeah. So that's my. Um, that's that's my yes that's my i would like to follow this path the mm -hmm. chemical engineering uh, bio yes. yeah. bioreactors that's mm -hmm. my uh, the field i love the most mm -hmm. i also like genetic engineering i like uh, molecular biology but uh, the chemical engineering part the engineering part it um, it um, uh, makes me feel more um, interested. Interesting. Just, uh, just I completely that. understand. So, uh, uh, Ilaria, so when we put application, right? Suppose, uh, Puerto Rico, you want to uh, pursue your PhD. Uh, just one application is not sufficient. I mean, you know, problem, right? So we have to have a pool of university. Apart from Puerto Rico, have you thought any other universities in the US? The Flo uh, the Florida um, University. More sunny places you, you want. <laughs> this week Florida. here we have like so many students got selected in Florida. Florida State. Ah, good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> uh, good. Good. Uh, um, California also. California, yes. but I think in in this university the um, the selection standards, not the selection. I think it's a little bit uh, uh, more difficult. No, it's um, more complicated because the 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 demand is higher mm -hmm. compared to our Puerto Rico University. But uh, I, 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 I do not agree with with this point. So what happens okay. basically? Suppose I'm a graduate admission committee man. Uh, when I see your application packet, we'll talk about later, I wanna make sure this student has a passion uh, uh, towards uh, the research, okay? So even if your grade's not great, but mm. uh, for example, a statement, scientific statement of purpose or academic statement, somehow you explain them uh, very nicely and making sense towards your academics like high school, undergraduate and masters. And if we can convince them, okay, which is very likely. And, and then, then it becomes very easy to get the admission. With your profile, uh, I would say, uh, it is very likely in some university, as you said, in, in California possible, and also Florida possible, just saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, thank you. Hilaria, it's all about pitching the application how you pitch the application, how you attract uh, uh, the graduate committee member with your scientific CV, statement of purpose, personal statement, research statement, and some other essays. That is very important. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, so you, you have to be positive through the process, okay? So yeah, as you probably already know that uh, you are looking for admission in, in what session? Probably in the fall session, right? In um, in what session? In what yes. uh, department? Um, environmental sciences. No, uh, I mean, uh, what I session mean, means? It's a fall or a spring. I'm, excuse me. Excuse That's me. Okay. I didn't. It's okay. It's okay. Um, maybe not not this summer. The next one. No. That is fall so session. Time. That is August uh, twenty four. Yes. And yes. for that application process. Applications are sent in the months of October, November, December. This is the window. Mm -hmm. okay? mm -hmm. And before October, we have to be ready with the application packet, like very good scientific CV, very, very important. Okay, And very good 
a scientific statement of purpose, personal statement, academic statement, uh, some other assays too, depending on the university that we are applying. Plus, good letter, letter of recommendation from your professor. Mm -hmm. Generally, uh, one university requires three LORs. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, because you, you're coming from Italy, which is not, I think, English is speaking nation, right? Not at all. Not, not at all. all. <laughs> but, but we are. Uh, you we know, are I know, uh, I know. I understand. We have an obligation so, with English. Yes, yes. So you have to take English proficiency test, either IELTS or TOEFL or PTE or Dulungu. Yes. You know, you know them. So you have time from now till September late or mid October to have things ready. It's called application packet. Once we're ready, and well, and before October, we have to also shortlist the universities, like California universities or, 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 or Florida University or some other on the same latitude, probably you like hot weather. Okay? So once we are ready with everything, and then we go smoothly, it takes like one, one to one and a half months, sending out applications, helping a student in each and every steps they require. Okay, so by December, okay. everything is done. And then in the months of January, February, and March, uh, admission committee reviews applications and offer admission. Sometimes admissions are, they don't involve any interview, okay? Mm -hmm. In morning, okay. You, you wake up and you find an email, well, in area, you got admit, wow. Many, many congratulations. So sometimes there are an email, well, uh, uh, Elaria, we find your uh, application very interesting. We want to have a, a Zoom discussion or interview with you. Okay. We also, our team also help with uh, interview process called mock session, making the student ready so that they are not nervous when professors are taking some discussion. US okay. uh, interview generally, they are about discussion. They want to know about your academic background, whether you will be a good match in the university or, or not, whether you can understand English, you can you can speak English in a way because all environment is gonna be English language. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then in the months of uh, uh, May, June, July, visa application process happens. We also help with visa application process. And it's done, then then late July or August, you go to the US. And you start your PhD program. And pre PhD <laughs> program is fully funded. That will cover your complete tuition waiver and you will receive monthly stipend. It varies where the university is located, what is the living cost of the university uh, in the in the in the in the background of the city. Where it varies the $2,500 to $3,500 per month, more than sufficient to live in, cover all living expenses and live a Decent life, I would say, being a student. <laughs> so a this decent is, life. Yes. We, we don't need that much. We then just we want don't. to yes. study and to work in a yes, good place. Yes. A good place. Yeah. And it's also possible to work in the university, right? Yes. Is it that possible is, to? Yeah. Your scholarship, they call it research assistance or teaching mm -hmm. assistance. Basically, you're working 20 hours a week for that mm -hmm. assistance mm -hmm. for the scholarship that you are getting. Okay. Start okay. part-time work. <laughs> okay, good. Yes. And, um, but since I will get my uh, master degree mm -hmm. in uh, uh, 25 October. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, so yeah, uh, to answer your question, all students who are in the final year are eligible to apply. So no problem. Uh -huh. Yeah, you are finally okay. a student. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. If you see our latest videos, there are, uh, I mean, a student going to Michigan State or some other uh, universities. Uh, many of them they are finally a student. Means they will get the degree maybe in June in India. Uh, mostly uh, second year okay. is done in, in June, in the month of June. Similar, but, your uh, case is similar. So your 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 second year, which. Uh, concluding your degree in October, no problem. But uh, will we uh, um, so write that I am a master degree student? 
Mm-hmm. Yes. And, uh, I have to report all my uh, master degree exams, of course. Yeah, that's called not? transcripts. Yes. Okay. okay. So, because you're a second year uh, student, you don't have to show second year. But I think you completed three semester, right? Yes. So you, you can show, I mean, uh, three trans yes. three semester transcripts. So no problem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Better, better. Yes. yes. Okay. And ask, um, ask more questions. <laughs> yes, my questions were about uh, yes, um, about for example my gap, no, my the time I needed to obtain the master degree. No problem. It's not uh, that. So, uh, so graduate admission committee looks into the potential of the student, not mm-hmm. the gap why he or she has taken two and a half years or three years. So that mm-hmm. comes a statement of purpose. Mm-hmm. We write and explain that very nicely. Academic extension backlogs they do not matter much in the graduate application process in the US. Many students, they fail and they still get good school. So that's why as a, I mean, telling your whole story is very important. The fingers not same, right? They are different, but they are all useful, right? They're all useful. Our upbringing is different. I mean, you, you're born in, uh, in Italy. Someone born in Africa may not have the same facilities, right? But graduate application and the members committee is going to look at the same standard. But the African guy or student, right, will struggle to catch you up, right? But uh, the committee is going to give that person equal chance. So our life journey is ups and down. Not everyone the same. We are all unique. So, so this kind of questions or, or issues that students think they do not matter in the graduate application process. Yes. Thank you for your answer. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, um, okay. So for for October, I have to to have all all the documents well organized. Yes. Uh, okay, but um, I have to uh, I have to. I have to tell you the department or the field I want to... Oh, st- yeah, so I- what will happen, uh, Ilaria? I will send you a questionnaire, which has 15 mm. questions. Okay. okay. You will answer them. You will take maybe one week or two weeks time. And once you, once you send us those answers, then we will know basically your mini biography. <laughs> okay? And okay. then we will get to know... Then we will start listing of university. We will share with you a scientific CV template. Then you will model your CV according to that template. Okay. And then university okay. listing will be there. Then we will discuss uh, which department, which professor you like, uh, depending on your interest. This will be like one-to-one interaction one more time. Right? This, this keeps on going till we are done with the application. From now onwards, Till October, then uh, November December. This is the process from now till we are done. We we, we complete the this application process, sending applications. Okay. Yes. Okay. Clear. Yeah. And um, and um, okay. That's I have I. Um, that that's all. That's uh, are all the questions I. Questions. All the questions, yes. Nice. Very nice. Yes. And also you send me all your uh, degree certificates or, or transcript. Okay. You can WhatsApp okay. me or I can share email uh, our uh, uh, Let's to GRE. It's our platform where you can send your all the documents, listing documents. We okay. can proceed whenever we want. Okay. So I have one question. I keep asking this student. Because this platform is online, right? Uh, you're sitting in Italy, I'm, I'm sitting uh, in, in, in Korea, I come from India, my PhD from you some scientist. How you trust and why you trust this online mentorship platform? 
because when you understand the genu genuinity, no, the the real words, the real intentions, okay. it's, it's clear from your videos, your okay. real intentions. Okay. It's clear. Um, it's and also of course all the students explained all about this process in a mm. very uh in a very um how can i say detailed way okay. and it was very uh clear everything genuine well well thank you some of because my native language is hindi it's hindi language yes many times yes. i communicate to my students in hindi yes. Yes. <laughs> so how yes. do you do you translate that maybe maybe the video of Sh shweta in there are some moments where yes. i cannot very understand <laughs> but i don't care because you you post so many videos yes, that yes. if i don't find what i what, what i was looking for i look for mm -hmm. another one it's mm -hmm. not uh, so it's do not you recommend Hilary, i should uh, more talk in English to outreach <laughs> other places or Hindi is just, just, just fine. I, I didn't understand, excuse me. Uh, so do you, uh, I mean, what's your, uh, I mean, feedback? Should I ask a discussion in English or Hindi is okay? No, please, please. I need some time to, to, to understand in oh, English. What I'm saying, suppose I'm communicating in English now. Right? Yes. But many of my videos not in English. So I'm asking, uh, should I communicate uh, to students in English so that uh, students yes. like you can understand? Of course, of course, absolutely. I, <laughs> because it is, uh, it's so complicated, uh, so complicated the uh, okay. language. But uh, yes, so, so you can uh, reach uh, many, many okay. more like okay. me. Yes. Yeah, I will try. You can also comment, sir, please. Uh, have your discussion in English <laughs> to help me to understand what you're talking about. Or put some subtitles. Subtitles. But, but it's uh, still, it's okay. Yeah? It's okay. okay. Any Anything you want to say about anything uh, for now? Mm, um, just I will uh, work hard on this process because okay. The, the just the thing just this thing that that you came on youtube and you and you are helping me in this process that means that is the right uh, is the right path is uh, and i will work hard i will give yes. 100% on this process very good yeah. Yeah. and definitely it will help you achieving your dream and i think uh, in a good university with our team of scientists, the mentors we have, mostly coming from the US, from Australia, some in Europe too. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen yes. uh, from the platform. Yes. yes. So Ilaria, I wanna, tomorrow I will send you a couple of things, okay? And okay. Uh, we can also talk, I think, on WhatsApp call if necessary, not Zoom, all right? So we're gonna in touch from now and onwards, okay? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Enjoy your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You too. Have a good uh, evening. Yeah, a thank good you. day. I don't know if it's morning or it's, it's uh, I think it's nine 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 p.m. Uh, now in, in uh, the uh, okay. yes. So have a good evening okay. and thank you. Uh, thank really. you too. All right. So we will connect with you too. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.